Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yashar Allah. Kol Holoyim La Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Harakakwadash. For blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwaf. It's keeping the faith in the work, shall keep at it. This is your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 83, and verse 1. It says, Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. And the Most High is moving now. The Most High is, is working right now. <clears throat> All right? It says, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So, the most the enemies are the most high are the heathens. And it, when we read further down, we'll we'll see exactly who these heathens are and who the top wicked is that are the enemies of the most high. Right? And sins though they can't do you can't do nothing to power, man. So the next best thing would be power's people. Right? The people that the most high chose. Right? It says, For lo thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. All right. So a lot of the most highest people, the majority of the most highest people have no idea who they are. And for a time, all of us had no idea who we are. All right. Um, only but a select few who, um, I don't know, the spirit just been dealing with their bloodline like that. Been dealing with their family like that. <clears throat> but <clears throat> they have taken the name of Israel out of remembrance for our, um, the majority of the Most High's people. But we're living in a time where now the Most High has opened up those uh, remnants, minds, to uh, have full knowledge of self, right? From times past all the way up until now. Right, but it says, uh, For they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, right, the number one group that's named because they're the top, right, and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarenes, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, right, the small hatters, and the Philistines uh, with the inhabitants of Tyre or Tyre. Asur also is joined with them. They have helping the children of Lot, Salah. Right. So basically, we're surrounded by enemies. These individuals that go to these world economic forums and these individuals that sit in these high powered seats that make the decisions for the world are the individuals that are confederate against the Most High and the Most High's people. Right. So we go to the book of Revelation, chapter 20. Because we're going to go into a tad bit of our history. Revelation chapter chapter 20 and verse 1, it says, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Right? Um, bottomless pit represents Europe. That chain represents um, um, basically a holding back or a servitude, if you will. Right, it says, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, right, which is the devil, which is deceiver, and Satan, which is the adversary, right, and bound him a thousand years for so for approximately a thousand years, the devil, right, or the deceiver was not in power. The the, the people that are in power today was not in power. So let's go into a portion of that time. So this was what he looks like. All right, you can see by the various um, surnames they had the word swarf, swarf the in, in them. Okay, all right. They didn't have no cameras back in Wado times. What they did they had drawings and paintings. All right, these are the coat of arms of people of Moorish descent in Europe. Okay. These are Israelites. These what swarthy people look like. All right, they don't look like uh, Karen. All right, let's put that on shadow All right, 
during that thousand year period, these were the rulers. These were the royalty, right? <clears throat> Them people over there in Great Britain and the UK, they claim they prince this and king that. Them people, they, they are not that, right? And the most high is on, how about Shemuel Osha is on his way back to dethrone, right? And take those crowns, right? See, these are saints depicted in their true likeness, man, right? Until the Renaissance came about. When the Renaissance came about, that's when all this changed, right? All the way up until the day, that's why today when we see different movies and uh, um, videos and things of such about these times, we don't see us as knights. We don't see us as kings in, in castles. We don't see us as princes and princesses, right, in these times, right? A lot of times you don't see us at all, right? But this is the truth of the matter, right? This is our true history, right? And like I said, until the Renaissance came, right? Revelation chapter 20 and um, verse 3 it says, And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up. And set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. And we're in that little season right now, but the little season started during the Renaissance. During the Renaissance, that's when you got uh, Cesare Borgia uh, <clears throat> as the Messiah. And that's when you got all of the, the, uh, the holy men that's spoken of in the scriptures uh, became non-melanated people. Um that's when, um, you know, our history basically got erased. And now, instead of us coming from Yasha Allah, right, now we come from jungles and we wild men, right? They have, have to be um, tamed, right? They have to be governed and shown how to be civil, right? But at the end of the day... <clears throat> The truth of the matter is unfolding as we speak, right? Because it's time, right? Scripture tells us until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled, and that's what we're witnessing, right? So, lot one second. All right, so this was Swarty looks like, all right? You can see by the various um, surnames they had the word Swarth, Swarth the N. End them, okay. All right, they didn't have no cameras back in Wado times. What they did they had drawings and paintings. All right, these are the quarter arms of people of Moors descent in Europe. Okay, these are Israelites. These what swarthy people look like. All right, they don't look like uh, Karen. All right, that's what that on show on. All right, so this Revelation chapter 19. And um, let me see, verse 11 says, And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. Speaking about Yahweh, right? So though the wicked are in rulership right now, though the wicked have those crowns upon their heads, they rule this world, right? They uh, have replaced uh, um, us with them as far as the kings and the, and, and the princesses and so forth and so on goes, right? Um, Revelation 19 and verse 12, his eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns. What are those crowns? Those crowns are the crowns of the surrounding nations, those heathens that are spoken of in Psalms chapter 83 because the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to send Yahweh Shai back to take them crowns back. And not only is he taking them crowns, he blessing us with crowns too, right? It says, his eyes was a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself, right? And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of power, right? And we all know the word of power. That's speaking about Yahweh Shai according to the book of John um, chapter 1. Right, so at the end of the day, our history cannot be hidden, right? Because it is it, is imminent, or, or or 
it's extremely uh, important, rather, for us to know who we are and for these Gentiles to be pushed out of the way. Second edge of 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. That's the word. So if the word was written so, that means it must come to pass. It's also written that this double has to be exposed. So if it's written, it must come to pass. Right? Um, let me see. I'm looking for another precept. So lot one second. Um, second Ezra chapter two and verse forty two. It says, I, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people. All right? I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. And they all praised Yahweh with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature. Right? Because he worthy to be praised, man. Yahweh Shimei was shy, man. Right, speaking about Yahweh Shai, right, taller than all the rest, like it's uh, spoken of in Hebrews chapter 1, right, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads, he said crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly, right, because the Most High calls us a nation of kings and priests, right, so that means that uh, one of these days, we're going to have them crowns too. Right, Yahweh Shai going to take it off the heads of these surrounding heathens and he going to bless us to have some of these crowns, to share in the, in, in the, um, the inheritance of this world. Right? It says, um, let me start over, 2nd Ezra chapter 2 and verse 43, and in the midst of them there was a young man of, of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he sat crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. Right? Um, uh, what's that? First uh, Corinthians chapter 15. Where it says, And have confessed the name of power, which is Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Bahasham is in the name. Right, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the Son. Right, it says, Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of Power, right, Yahweh Shai, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's what we're doing, proclaiming who we are, uh, uh, telling the world, hey, this is the truth about our history. This is the truth about who we are. Whether they hear, whether they for, will forbear, it don't matter. Whether they believe in the scriptures or not. Whether they believe in God or not, that ain't got nothing to do with me or you. It got everything to do with them and the Lord. Right? It says in Second Ezra chapter two and verse forty-eight. Then the angel said unto me, "Go thy way, and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh thy power, thou hast seen." Right, and that's what we doing, man. Professing and confessing exactly what time it is, man. And it's the time of revealing, time of revelation, man. And Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, righteous are the time of Jacob's trouble, because Jacob's trouble uh, equates. The end, because like it says in the book of Daniel chapter 12, Jacob's trouble has to be happening in order for salvation to occur. All right. So like I said, just a little tidbit in your history. So you so-called blacks, you so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans and all our brethren around the world, all of so-called Negro descent. Just a little bit of who you really are. Right. Just in case you didn't know. And so with that, Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai Rachaz Ali's precepts in this video were edifying. Call Holoyam La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Haracha Kwadash Shalom Yashar Allah.